This in front of me is the bus station in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Today we're going to be leaving Chiang Mai and we're going to be heading towards Chiang Rai, another area here in the north of Thailand. And we booked a bus on 1-2 Go, it's called the Green Bus, and it's going to be about a three hour journey until we get there. And then once we're there, we're going to go explore Chiang Rai and see what it's like. <laughs> I see Leanne's putting her bag in a bag. I want to try and keep these bags as nice and new as possible. So I think it's going to get scratched really quickly. Are we weird for doing this? <laughs> we also have with us a few snacks for the road, which should be delicious. We've actually gotten some of these things that we find the locals drinking. They're my new favorite thing. They're like a, a lychee jelly like. They say it's got vitamin C. I'm sure it's packed with sugar, but it's really yummy. Chiang Rai. Yeah, Chiang Rai. Kupon Cup. Seats 4 C and D. 4 C and D. Chiang Rai. It's a pretty spacious bus, right? Come on, The seats are not like super massive seats. <laughs> and I don't think the overhead bag compartment is big enough for our big bag. So as usual, we'll just put it in front of our seat for now. There is some luggage space here on top, but generally our bags never fit. At the bottom, we actually have these little pull-down steps where we can put our feet. And they've provided us with some water, which is great. <laughs> what are the chances? I think mine's too fat. Yours is too fat. Oops. Probably that book in the front of it, hey? I uh, probably. <laughs> that book. Why bring a book like this that you're gonna read for two days when you're traveling for an entire year? Oh, please buy me a Kindle then. Touche. Sorry, baby, yours is going by your feet. Okay. Goodbye, Chiang Mai. So this bus only cost us like $7 per person to go all the way from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai. So it's time to try some lychee juice. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a, ooh, a jelly juice. This is more juice than jelly but at the bottom here it's all the jelly which is super yummy. but you actually got to suck the stuff out. Yeah. So we're basically just meandering through all the mountains, but it is so, so pretty around here. That's why I enjoy taking bus rides. You just get to see so much landscape. Yeah. You? I'm starting to contemplate whether we should do like night buses and night trains because then you actually don't get to see outside the window and actually look at the country. <laughs> so difficult. I noticed there's a bathroom on the left. Oh, well, that's not too bad. It's got a sink, it's got a toilet, got some toilet paper, and this is the back of the bus. <laughs> Pretty cool, but it's hard to balance. One thing I can say is that it's incredibly hard to use a toilet while you're on a moving bus. That is incredibly hard. To balance. Yeah, I had to like hold the wall like this while taking a pee because I was just shaking everywhere. I think Daniel also chose the wrong time to go to the bathroom because we're going through a little town now and it's like stop, start, stop, yeah. start. But it's even got a basin so you can wash your hands. Oh, when green, the yeah, the green buses are the point here in Thailand. hours later we have landed in Chiang Rai. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> People are really friendly. There's our bags. Where are you go? Ban Porsa Din. Huh? Ban Porsa Din. Ban Hodi Din, yeah. Yes. Hodi Din. You see, Ban Porsa Din. Okay. How much? 60. 
60 baht. Yes. With tuk tuk. Yes. Okay, we'll go with tuk tuk. If there's no rain? Okay, no problem. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. <laughs> We're going to be taking a tuk-tuk, but the That's possibility of rain. I uh, hope it's not going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> not raining, eh? This one your tuk-tuk? Hey. This one yours, eh? Thank you. Oh, I hope these clouds don't catch us. <laughs> Are you in? I'm in. Oh. There we go. Oh, Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I'm starting to think we should have taken a taxi. Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> That's pretty comfy here at the back. So here we are. Welcome to Chiang Rai. Woo! Definitely not a bad way to start our Chiang Rai experience. Oh, look at the street! There we go, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Jaran. <laughs> I saw his name over there, he's got his license. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, and her name Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Jaran, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. <laughs> so this is going to be our room for the next couple of nights. It's super cozy, but the best thing is that we have our own little courtyard over here. How cool is that? Seeing as it's raining right yeah. now. I think we'll only go and explore Chiang Rai tomorrow. Yeah, because they say it's not raining in the mornings and it's only raining in the evenings. So. <laughs> Till got tomorrow. Here. <laughs> got here just before the rain. Yeah, okay. <laughs> go stand inside. Hey guys, just want to tell you quickly that SSL Conversions is currently giving away a fully off-gridded full berth luxury camper van to one of you. Generally, when we go on these massive adventures, we like to rent a scooter, but as you can see, they're not very comfortable to sleep on. We always thought how great it would be to be able to do these big adventures and bring your home along with you. This camper van that you can win not only has a fixed double bed, a spacious kitchen and a dining area, but it also has a full shower and composting toilet, making this camper van and truly feel like a home on wheels. All right, I've just entered. Not only can you win this luxury camper van, but you can also stand a chance in order to win a Latitude tent, a Blue Yeti power bank, and as well as 5,000 pounds cash. So head over to sslconversions.co.uk in order to enter. There are a limited amount of spots available, so it's best to be quick. We'll also leave a link in the description below. Okay, let's go and explore Chiang Rai. So this morning, we've rented a scooter. Now we've got to wait for Leanne. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I need a helmet from under your seat, please. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah I got a red one, thank you. <laughs> so right now we are making our way towards a temple and you'll know on this channel that we don't really visit temples but we're going to this one because it is so unique. Somewhere here, eh? There oh, we there's go. a policeman. Wow. Come on, grab. I just hope this guy knows that that's his bike and that this is ours. <laughs> I hope so too. Hi. For two people, please. Two people, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hello, and please cover the top part. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we have to bring a shawl with cover up. Not allowed to show your knees or your shoulders. So we've come here to the Wat Rong Kung Temple and apparently it's one of the most popular things to do here in Chiang Rai. Now generally we do not visit temples. But I mean, if you see this one right here, this is why we're visiting this one. It completely looks like it's been taken out of a fairy tale. Like, look at it, it is completely white. It's actually really beautiful.
we're just waiting in a line in order to actually cross the bridge to heaven and then we get to go and see inside. Yeah, but we're waiting here in order to try and take a photo. <laughs> As you what we're doing to take photos, but check out this place. There's actually a whole bunch of hands sticking out and then here's skulls and more hands coming out. It feels so freaky. I feel like the hands are going to come out and grab me while I'm walking across this bridge. We're walking now over this and check out all the hands. Some people have actually put like coins on the hands and then here's a bowl in order to receive more money and there's just a whole bunch of hands right at the entrance that it's incredibly is. beautiful after the heaven so these two statues over here they represent death and rahu and it turns out that in buddha mythology rahu decides the fate of the dead so it's basically like saint peter who guards the gates to heaven in christianity and then this is the bridge to heaven <laughs> so we're crossing the bridge right now this is absolutely incredible this white really does stand out. When you get close to it, you can see all of the details and the little mirrors that are inside here, which reflects the sun and really makes it look like it's glistening and shining. So we're going to enter here and I think we're actually not allowed to record. So we're just going to go and see inside this temple just to check it out. But wow, what an entrance. So as we walked inside, we actually stepped onto gold tiles. Now I don't know if they were really gold tiles, <laughs> but there was also a Buddha over there which people were sitting in front of and praying. What's really unique about this temple as well, in other temples you kind of see Buddha mythology all over the wall. And on one wall in this temple, they actually had like Spider-Man and Batman and all the modern day superheroes. Yeah, <laughs> it was really, cool. really unique in there. <laughs> Never seen anything like that before. No. So this temple was actually built by a local Thai artist who grew up here in Rong Kung district of Chiang Rai. And the aim of this temple was to actually build it as like an offering to Buddha. So he built it white because that's supposed okay, to represent the purity of Buddha. And then all of the little details that you see in here, like the mirrors, which reflects the sun, that is supposed to like reflect, reflect Buddha's uh, knowledge all over earth. But it's really intricate and detailed it is incredible the detail that they have around here all of this has been made by an artist oh my word look at this <laughs> how's that for timing the fountains just come up on the pond it almost looks like this is a wishing well because there's coins at the bottom of this pond so i think people like stand here and flick a coin and then Hopefully their wishes come true. So yeah, Lee Anne's wanting another photo again. As you can see, every single angle of this temple is like picturesque. <laughs> I can't help it. It's just so beautiful. Like I have not seen a temple like this ever before. It's stunning. What's happening here? Yeah, everyone's standing around this thing. And it seems like there's a hole inside. Oh, there's a lot of coins. More wishes. So there goes Leanne, enter the toilet. This is what the toilet looks like. It's a gold building. A really cool building, right? The bathrooms are normal bathrooms. Oh, uh, so they're not gold as well? They're gold inside, but it's the toilet's just a normal toilet and okay. normal clean bathroom, but it's really cool. I thought it would be something like extravagant because it's in this gold temple or building or whatever you call it. <laughs> Do you see this? That is incredible. I mean, we came here in order to see the White Temple, but little did I know, the other buildings here are just as impressive. I don't know if you can actually go in. Oh, it's closed from 12 to 1. So I need the next 40 minutes. I have absolutely no idea what this is, if it's a temple or... I don't know, but it's really cool to see. So before we head off to our next stop, we've gotten some cashew nut chicken with rice and a mango sticky rice pudding I am taking up all of the mango sticky rice that I can eat before we leave Thailand because I have absolutely no idea when I can eat it again well you're gonna be eating a lot of it baby check out the size of this thing it is huge <laughs> mm. honestly the best dessert in the entire world 
Ching Chong Cha for who's sitting on the hot seat. I think we're both gonna have to sit on that hot seat. Our scooter's been sitting in the sun the whole time. Is it hot? Ow. <laughs> Am I gonna burn my bum? Yeah, good luck. Oh my goodness. Oh, and my dress is so thin, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, roasted bums. Once you sit on it for about five seconds, it gets fine. It's roasted bums. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's hit the road. Thank you. Nice and cold. Are you going to a castle or something? I don't know. Woo. Wow. That is massive. Oh wow, look at that. Here we go. The stairway. <laughs> So the statue that we've come to is actually known as the Goddess of Mercy. It is standing 90 meters tall and the last time we were at something like this was in Phuket last year yeah. at the Big Buddha. This almost reminds me of the Big Buddha and it kind of gets confused with the Big Buddha statue because of its ginormous size. That is huge. Yeah, they kind of got all these dragons here on the side but it is massive. I am so teeny tiny. <laughs> Apparently you can go right to the top of this big Buddha. If you kind of see at the top between our eyes, it almost looks like her third eye, but that's a window. So our goal is to go and see the views from the top over there. How many stairs do you think we've climbed? 694. Feels that way. Final step. Made it. The closer you get, the taller this God of Mercy appears. Oh, I'm so out of breath. As this is a temple, we've got to take off our shoes again. It's starting to rain. No. Yeah. So leave your shoes somewhere where the rain won't make them wet. Just put them higher. <laughs> so we don't have to take the stairs up, we can actually take an elevator. Which is great, because I don't think we're going to survive climbing all the way to the top. <laughs> Just look how pretty and intricate with these details the elevator entrance is. It's got like all of these little beads on it. Oh, on that side? Oh, do we need to buy a ticket? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, Swadika. Two, please. This way. Come on, cab. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to the top we go. He saluted us. It's apparently 25 floors to the top. I wonder if we can go to the 26th one. Hi, thank you. Wow. This is beautiful. I did not expect to walk into so much detail straight out of the lift. Look at all of these, like, what do you even call it? mythology and all that on the walls. Check at this, it's like an entire forest that they've designed here with dragons peeling out some of the gods that they have as well. I mean here we have more Buddha-like statues. This is just incredible. I wonder how long it actually took them to do the inside here because there's just so much detail. Yeah, some more. So there's probably an entire storytelling like throughout all of this, he's probably telling a story because that's generally how it is. It almost looks like this is a, a royal family here. Now let's have a look at these views. But this is why we came to the top to have a look at the views. Hello! <laughs> Let's go peek out the window that was actually on top of the eye. Oh my goodness, now you really get a sense of how high we are. Is there a window here? 
No, there's no, no window. <laughs> You can really get a sense of how high we are now. You can just see all the mountains in the background and the forests and the rice fields and it's just so, so pretty. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can actually go further up. So currently this is the 25th floor that we are on and I think the staircases are just around the corner where we can actually go to the 26th level. Yes. Here are the stairs are. Now it's unlike the walls we saw in the other temple. This one's got just like silver tiling. Oh wow, it's a whole nother room with all this detail. <laughs> I'm looking out of the eyes. How cool is this? Like this is literally her left eye <laughs> that we're looking out of. And this is kind of what we can see out of her eye. And then over here is the right eye. There we go. So hot. Bye-bye. Our shoes are still dry. It didn't rain. Oh, it's actually nice just to sit down and just admire the views. Even just from the bottom here, you get such beautiful views. Well, we're only spending two days here in Chiang Rai and then we're going to be leaving tomorrow and heading towards our fourth country without taking a flight. So if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, also give it a super thanks if you can. And comment down below which you think our next country is going to be. Yeah. I'm sure it's very easy to guess. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Baby, this is your opportunity to get new shoes. <laughs> They're all for free. Would Donated. you like a new pair? No, I'm okay. Thank you. There's some like Birkenstocks. There's some more. You can get some sketches. <laughs> Spot the group that's together, right? <laughs>